Hello and welcome to another Jody Giant Veg. I'm just going to have like a quick update here, show you what's going on. Um, my show has just uh, been and gone, my little village show. And uh, after the disaster I've had, I did all right actually. I got a first place in the three vegetable section, which I'm really happy with. Um, and I got a first and second with the flowers, uh, with the dahlias, which I didn't have um, that many to be honest. The dahlias, they seem to come out after the show. But um, yeah, there's my dahlias there. The whole, you'll have to forgive us, the whole uh, allotment is an absolute pigsty. Big changes coming next season. Um, after all these shows are out the way, everything's getting stripped back to basics and I'm gonna um, completely change the allotment round and finally get it the way I want to have it. I know I had a bit of a disaster last year, but yes, I want to do it the way I want it. Um, spend a little bit more money on it and try and get it sorted so it's ready to go for next season's show so then i've got no excuses if i don't do well in any of them shows then it's through my own uh my own fault not nature smashing things and what have you so yeah uh, as you as you're well aware my uh, polytunnel collapsed on me not on top of us actually but it collapsed anyway due to the weight in the the covers um which the the rain gathered in the cover uh, bent the frame right down. I mean, I bent it back up at the minute, but this whole frame was right down and it basically Collapsed in on all my leaks. So as you can see I've been ripping out some of the leaks there. They're all no good I finished sixth place in my show with my leaks and I managed to get three on the bench, which I'm really happy with because There was some people at the show who grew their leaks all year in fine conditions and they still couldn't get any on the bench which is very unfortunate for them because it's a nightmare having doing all that work all year and not even being able to get three uh, leaks under the six inches to the button. Um, I've got a little pumpkin going on here. You'll have to excuse the weeds. I've been, like I say, really busy. Everything's just up in the air and looks a bit crap. But yeah, I've got a, a little pumpkin growing there. Hopefully it might put some weight on for Halloween time. My cabbages. I don't know if you can see them properly in here. I've got these cabbages in this net. Hold on, I'll just see if I can open this net up. I've got some red cabbages here. Um, three red cabbages. I'm absolutely harassed to death with this um, mare's tail. It is everywhere and it's really hard to get rid of. So I'd appreciate any tips on how to get rid of mare's tail apart from spending 400 hours digging it out. As you can see, big cabbages here. Um, the size of this cabbage isn't really, doesn't give it just this sort of thing. This thing is huge. I can't even try and put my hand in there. So if you think my hand's just about the size of that little centre bit. And that's not the biggest either. So, and I've got other cabbages there. Even bigger one. If I can reach over in the middle. The size of that one, the heart on that's colossal. Um, same with this one, big one there, big one there, and then I've got another one over on that corner. Yeah, I'm over the moon with my cabbages. I mean, this bench is just for a show down in Har uh, not Harrogate, sorry, uh, Malvern, where they just basically show big veg. It's a giant vegetable competition, and it's my first year really growing giant vegetables. Last year I grew some marrows. Um, and some big onions, but there are nothing compared to what some of the uh, the top dogs grow sort of thing. Uh, my record last year was £87 for my marrow, uh, my biggest marrow, which I was over the moon with. But I'm hoping this year I can get one over £100, which I would be absolutely overjoyed with. Um, I'll just show you quickly, I've got some onions left for that show. I'll just let you have a look at these. Um, this one's been really topsy-turvy, it's just got some roots in, but it's... It's a really topsy-turvy, I've just put a little support on there. It's not soft or anything. Uh, this is my biggest onion at the back, this one here, and it's measuring about 28 inches around at the minute. And it's putting on roughly about a half to three quarters of an inch a week still. So hopefully that'll be really big for the Marvin show, for the, um, the heaviest onion. I'd love to place in the top 10. That would be a hell of an achievement for me. Uh, and I've got another three, that one there, that one there, and I think that one over there will go in the three heavy onion section. 
Okay, I've got um, giant Swedes in here. I've lost a few because of they've been grown for quite a while now. If you look at the uh, they're quite monstrous, ugly things. I mean, these are nothing compared to some of the guys who grow um, for show sure, these giant Swedes. These are just my attempt, um, just for fun. I've got another couple of cabbages in here, but these, like I said before, um, some red cabbages there. These are just for fun, these cabbages. These aren't anywhere near the size of those other cabbages uh, for the shows, if they'll hang on, that is. Okay, um, marrows. See this sea of green? That is my marrow patch. Three marrow plants in there altogether. Um, you can see I've got a big marrow on there. Well, I'm saying big. It's it's a baby. I've got another one here which is uh, about double that size. I need to get it cover over. But I've got some others underneath the black tops which I'm hanging a hold, hanging hanging on to at the minute. Um, praying that they're going to do good but me, me little bit of fun pride and joy should I say is my little Siamese marrow I'm saying little it is getting quite big now uh, and they both seem to be growing at exactly the same speed which is quite fun I'm, I'm enjoying watching this grow it's, uh, it's <laughs> well it's weird as you can tell but underneath this Underneath this um, tarpaulin here, I have got this marrow, which is like a stocky fat. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it out of the way. A stocky fat marrow. Haven't got any measurements. Haven't brought my tape measure down either, which I normally have always got as with us, but I didn't bring it, unfortunately, today. Huge plants, if you look at them. I mean, I'm just about to feed them, but it's going to get a splash of rain again tonight as well, so hopefully they'll. Uh, they'll cheer up a bit because they're looking a bit yellowish. They need some um, some NPK in them. And if you don't know what that means, it's nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Uh, underneath this one, I've got like a bit of a, a weird shape one which I liked. Which I wanted to keep. It's a, it's a weird one, a bit of a long ribbed one. So that I mean that's doubled in size in a week. That It was nowhere near that size last week. Um, and this one's my biggest one so far Which if I just pull the cover back There we go It's um, it's getting on it's quite a big marrow that now it's Sound on the bottom I haven't put them on sand a lot of people put them on sand, but this is all pretty loose sandy on top anyway I should really have it on sand, I just haven't got any. Um, same with the others. I need to get round that. But yeah, I'm happy with that one. He's getting big. Another three weeks left till the show. Um, yeah, three weeks, four, three stroke, four weeks left for that show. I'll just tuck it up like a little baby, like you would when you put your baby to bed. Bless him. Ugh. Oop, sorry. This is all, uh, I must apologise for my camera. Flipping on its side and going a bit all weird there. It's hard to hold it on uh, straight while I'm filming. You don't, I don't quite realise, uh, pay attention to the camera, so I must apologise for that. But yeah, that's it. Basically, that's everything what's gone on in the allotment. Uh, and I'm sorry I must apologise. It has been a while since uh, my last update. Like I say, things are just dead hectic. Having two like companies to run um, and doing all the shows and trying to get things sorted out. Newborn baby. But, whew, I'm pooped. I'm happy with the way everything's coming on, especially my cabbages. Uh, I've got some cucumbers at home, grown, which are really good for me. It's my first year of growing long cucumbers and heavy cucumbers, so we'll see how them bad boys get on. Uh, and that's it for the minute. So, stay updated. Please remember to subscribe and all that jazz for future updates. I'll be doing some videos down at the Marvin Show for to show you how I got on. Uh, and I'll probably go down to the Harrogate Show and I'll do a little bit of a video around there showing you what sort of veg was going on down there. I'm not entering anything in the Harrogate Show this year, even though there's like a new novice section. Um, and I've been asked to enter some stuff. 
I'm not going to bother. I'm going to keep my stuff for the Marvin show because I don't think I've got quite enough for to do both. So it's either one or the other this year. So I think I'll just stick to the Marvin and give everything a chance to grow as long as I can. Um, that extra week might be a lot, if you know what I mean, because the Marvin show is a week after Harrogate, I think. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again on the next one. As you can see there, I've got the leak out the pot. They came out with relative ease. And there's the root zone on them, fantastic. And you can see the pebbles, the two or three inches of pebbles I had in the bottom there. But yeah, I'm gonna clean this down. Brilliant roots on that. And hopefully I'll be able to keep a nice big root ball um, on the end of the leak, which will make it look nice.